Ellie. Hi, I'm Rory. And we are the Copeland Kids from CoClix. Today we are going to show you how to reboot the pickaxe microchip inside the Snap CPU on the rare occasion that it fails to connect for download. Remember that this happens very rarely, so check with your teacher or an adult helper before doing this. So Ellie, why does the microchip do this? Well, like all chips, it runs code, and if the code gets too mixed up, either because a previous download got interrupted, or someone gave it some wrong instructions, it may get confused and be busy doing something else and not checking for a new download. Normally to download to the Snap CPU, you would first connect the power and then start the download by clicking on the download button or pushing F5. To untangle the chip's memory, you need to do the opposite. You first start the download and then you plug in the Snap CPU. This means that as soon as the chip wakes up, it sees a download before it tries to run any previous programs. Step 1. Plug in your USB cable to the computer side only. Step 2. Start the program download either from the menus or press F5. Now, plug the other end of the cable into your Snap CPU. The red LED light should light up as the download starts to get sent. If your program changed the LED's colour, you should see this. And there you have it, one Snap CPU rebooted and ready to go. See you next time!